Hey guys, my name is Sushi TLHS. Uh, I've only made two videos on YouTube, mostly stuff that I, you know, happen to make on the internet itself. But um, my first video, I'm a French horn player. I play at my high school. Um, I'm a senior, and I've been playing uh, French horn for about two years now. And I don't know. I don't know if I'm any good. Uh, I, I think I'm good. <laughs> I don't want to be bragging or anything, so I'll leave it up to you guys to figure that out, if, if I'm good or not. Um, tomorrow is my band final, first thing in the first thing of the day, at 8.15, and um, I gotta learn two octaves chromatically, plus the circle of fourths, so yeah, memorized. Everything has to be memorized, so I gotta learn all this stuff. So, wish me luck. <laughs> to get down to the low notes, that's where I have to start because if I do oc two octaves from a relatively high note, I, I can't play that high, um, even though French horn has the highest, has the, hi has the largest range, about three and a half octaves, it's still kind of hard to get everything out because the embouchure, the way your lips are uh, formed and stuff like that. I'm going to try to go from the lowest note all the way to my highest note. from my lowest to my highest it's it hurts to get all the way up to the highest note because it's so loud oh god but I'm starting from a low F this is my low F see if I can do it <laughs> Guys, I want to talk to you about my French horn. It's a double French horn, uh, which means that there's two sides, an F and a B flat. Um, there's four keys, three for your index, middle, and ring finger, and one key for your thumb. Now, the thumb key allows for higher notes to be played easier, and so um, it makes it makes it easier to play. Um, what else? It's a Yamaha French horn. It's it sound is very pure. My room at my house doesn't have good acoustics. It sounds a lot better at school where we have uh, sound damp dampeners so it's easier uh, to hear the good notes played but <laughs> I have to practice for the final so that's the best it's going to get here. 
Um, what else? There's a lot of coils. Oh yeah, fun fact. If you were to uncoil a French horn, there would be 18 feet of metal pipe. 18 feet. It's the it's one of the longest instruments, I believe, one of the longest brass instruments. Um, and that length creates a lot of pressure inside. One, because it's coiled, and two, because it's so long. So there's a lot of uh, air in there that you have to move with your lips and the air you're blowing in into the instrument. So it, it's very hard. It, it's a hard instrument to play. And colleges even give scholarships because uh, it's so It's it's a rare instrument to play. Uh, they're they're very expensive. Uh, this one's a school owned instrument, uh, and it's five thousand dollars. So I gotta keep it safe. Uh, I have one that's about two thousand dollars. It's it's not not as good quality, but it's still a playing French horn. Good a good French horn. Um, what else? That, that's about it about my French horn, and I better get back to practicing for the final.